Hey fam, what's up? It's April. Today we are starting my reread of City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. So, obviously we need to do a reading vlog for it. If you missed my City of Bones one, I will leave a link for it in the corner. Especially because I go into how I annotate and everything. But, I am changing up some things on how I annotate. So, usually I use like these pens to underline things and to write things in the margins but I hate writing with these. They bleed through the pages and for some reason I just don't write neatly with these types of pens. So here's what I am going to do. As uh, per recommendation from Melanie, from Mel to the Annie, I got these pastel highlighters and I'm going to try highlighting instead and I'm just going to use my favourite black gel pen if I want to write something. I think that will be better and then obviously we have my sticky tabs and they correspond with the colours of the highlighter. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, we're just going to try it out. I mean we'll see how it goes. I have a daily goal, um, a daily page goal, so I'm aiming to read 230 pages a day but um, I read these really really fast so uh, we'll just see how much of this I can read because it's 4 p.m. now and I want to get through this as quickly as possible because I have my copy of the Red Scrolls of Magic and I need to reread this and City of Glass before I can read that so let's just get started <coughs> excuse me so good morning Luna's here being adorable as per usual and last night I managed to get to page 115 no 118 of City of Ashes so we are up to chapter 7 and I have a couple of tabs and I highlighted a few things so let's just get into it I'm using Luna as a table right now <laughs> I will say I didn't tab everything that I highlighted but the first thing that I highlighted was on page 10 and it was a funny moment so I highlighted it in yellow and it's this moment between Jace and Alec where they were out fighting demons and Alec's like just because you said dragon demons were extinct I said mostly extinct mostly extinct is not extinct enough <laughs> I just thought this was really funny do you think it was funny Luna Definitely. And then Maurice is being an asshole to Jace. And then Jace is just a massive asshole to the werewolves. Like, what the hell, Jace? But anyway, before we get to that, the next thing is green, which means angry. And it's when Maya's talking about her ex um, being abusive and hitting her. Uh, we don't stand. No, thank you. Also, her creepy brother. No, thank you. And he is when Jace was being an ass. He's like, do you mean a lycanthrope or some other sort of downwelder? You all blend together to me. Rude, 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 no. Thank you, I know he was just trying to pick a fight, but really? He didn't have to go that far, you know what I mean? And this whole thing with Clary and Simon is just so cringy. Anyway, um, this next thing, page 44, um, Jace is like, I don't want to be a man. I want to be an angst-ridden teenager who can't confront his own inner demons and takes it out verbally on other people instead. And Luke's like, well, you're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> and then I just put a little love heart when Luke tells Jace that he's welcome to stay with him anytime. And it's just uh, so sweet. And then I put more hearts when Magnus is mentioned for the first time in this book because we love him. And then another funny thing, basically the most used color that I used in City of Bones was yellow. There was just so many funny things. So we'll see if that holds up for this one. But Luke is telling Clary, however, there is something you should have, something every shadow hunter should have. An obnoxious, arrogant attitude, Simon said, classic. And then, oh my God, down here, Jace is telling Alec, you have something on your neck. Is um is 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 it is it a hickey? <gasps> because oh my god! And then I just wrote hashtag Malik forever because yes. What? No, I fell on your neck. 
Okay, Alec. And then we meet the Inquisitor, who is a Herondale. OMG. And then the whole thing with the Silent Brothers happened. That was so messed up. How they all, like, screamed. Oh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. And that's where we're up to. So Isabel, Alec, and Clary just went to the Silent City to find Jace and then they discovered all of the dead Silent Brothers and that the sword was gone and they've just come out and there's a group of sh shadow hunters led by Maurice and they're like, uh, what were you doing down there? <laughs> so that's where we're up to. I'm going to attempt to finish this entire book today. So I will update you in about another 100 pages or so. And yeah, uh, my thoughts so far, I'm really enjoying it. I just, I love these books so much even though they're not the best. But I just love these characters so much and I'm just so excited, especially for Malik to finally become a thing so then I can read Red Skulls of Magic. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go read. Oh my god, I was leaning on my face and now I have a mark. Great! Okay, anyways, I have read a hundred more pages of City of Ashes and before I read any more, I actually went back and added more tabs and just like more highlights and stuff. Nothing too major, just like with this whole hickey thing, I just highlighted it and tabbed it. Yeah, I just highlighted and tabbed um, when Luke uh, says that he can come stay. Just, just, yeah, I was just a little bit more thorough. Anyway, where were we up to? Yeah, this is where we were up to. So the next thing was another funny thing when the Inquisitor's like, how awfully convenient for you, regardless, and for him. He won't have to worry about you spilling his secrets. And they're talking about Valentine. And he's like, yeah, he's terrified I'll tell everyone that he's always really wanted to be a ballerina. And then I just wrote, I hate this lady, because the Inquisitor is just the worst. And then another funny thing when Magnus comes, because Jace collapses, and Magnus is like, is he dead? He looks dead. And then Maurice is like, no, he's not dead. Have you checked? I could kick him if you want. <laughs> and then the Inquisitor calls Magnus Alex Warlock. And he's like, he's not my warlock. The tops of Alex's angular cheekbones flared a dark red. And I just wrote, tee -hee. And then part two. I randomly just put LMAO when Jace is talking about watching Project Runway. And then when the Queen of the Silly Court um, requested an audience with them, Magnus didn't believe them and was like, sure. And Madonna wants me as a backup dancer on her next world tour. And then this, oh my god. <laughs> when Isabel is like, it's my motto, nothing less than seven inches. And then Melion just gazed at her stonily. I'm talking about my heels, she said. It's a pun, you know, a play on words. <laughs> and then I just highlighted this cute little Jason Simon thing. And then I just put a tab when Clary and Jace kiss in the Silly Court. And then, holy crap, Simon becomes a vampire. <laughs> um, so that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to keep reading. We have... 250 pages left. Let's do this. Hello. So it's actually the next day and I stayed up to finish City of Ashes. So I finished it and I'm sorry I didn't update sooner but Lucas was sleeping and it was night time and I just didn't want to wake anyone up. So we're just going to talk about the rest of the book now. Last time I updated, Simon had just been turned into a vampire. So that's fun. We were up to chapter 11, page 206. And yeah, we had this much left. So let's get into it. Um, things happened. Okay, uh, so the first thing that I annotated since we spoke last was this quote. And I haven't used this color yet. This is the first time I've used this color in this book. And this color means like memorable quote. And I just highlighted, I just thought it was a nice quote. It says, everyone has choices to make. No one has the right to take those choices away from us. Not even out of love. Hello, Luna. And then I didn't tab anything for a while. Then we have part three. Then we have this. I just really liked this. Um, when Magnus said, you might want to lie down. I find that helps when the crushing sense of horrible realization sets in. Which 
me every day. Haha. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, when Clary put the fearless rune on Alec and he straight up was almost like telling his parents about Magnus, I screamed. I just love this scene so much. And then Simon and Maya are kidnapped. Just everything's in shambles. And then they're organizing to go and get them back. And then Alec um, wants his phone. And Is Isabel's like, what do you need the phone for, Alec? We just need it, Alec said impatiently. Izzy, if you're texting Magnus to say, I think you are cool, I'm going to kill you. And then Jace literally jumps off the Institute roof and just lands lightly on his feet. And he's like, if I made a joke about just dropping in, would you write me off as a cliche? Because, you know, apparently he can just jump 50 feet in the air and be fine. Just casually. And then I put this amazing emoji. My art skills are just amazing. Uh, when Valentine literally slits Simon's throat. Like, I can't even imagine what my reaction would have been the first time I read this. I would have been, like, shocked. But we all know he's gonna be fine. And then they're talking about how um, Celine died by suicide. And this just made me really angry. How they didn't bury her and her child in the Bone City because she died by suicide. And that was like dishonorable or whatever. That's messed up. So many things about the clave is messed up. But, you know, I feel like that's like the whole point of this series is trying to change those messed up things. And then, so they're fighting on the ship and everything. And the Inquisitor sees this like birthmark on Jace and is like, holy crap, and whispers something in his ear. Which, if we've read the next book, we know what she means. But then Jace literally nearly dies and she steps in front of him and takes the blow and she dies. So I guess she redeemed herself from being an absolute idiot, but it's still a sad, just her, her life has been very sad, basically. And then Jace lets Simon drink his blood and then he becomes immune to the sunlight, which is just amazing. We're not even up to that. I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't think I annotated anything else. We're almost done anyways. But yeah, in the epilogue, um, one of Jocelyn's friends is like, hey, I can wake your mum up. And that's how the book ends and we're all shook. But yeah, so I feel like City of Ashes is one of the weaker books in the series, to be honest. I don't love the plot of it and I don't love the way some of the characters act in this, but I do love how we're starting to get Malik and I did really enjoy seeing um going into the Sealy Court and everything I thought that was really fun but yeah I'm just so excited to move on to City of Glass because every time I've read the series City of Glass has always been my favorite in the series so we'll see if that is the same this time around um because I think I've only read the lo the latter three books in the series once or, or twice. I think twice. Once? I'm not sure. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I'm giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. Even though I gave City of Bones 4 out of 5 and I think City of Bones is better than this one, I just feel like, yeah, this is probably more like a 3.5 I guess. But I still really enjoy it. I love the humour, I love the characters, and I'm just a sucker for this world. So I think that's where I'm going to end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and a City of Glass one will be coming really soon because I really need to get a move on reading these books and I will also be doing a reading vlog for the Red Skulls of Magic. So look out for that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon in a new video. Goodbye!